Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the 15B assignment. Okay, so let's start here on number one. Uh, if P, the shirt is new, and Q, the shirt is clean, are our two propositions, uh, write down the meaning of not P. So A, not P would be the shirt is not new. Okay, so for B, we've got not Q, so the shirt is not clean. Okay? Uh, for C, we got P, and this symbol here means or, so P or Q, so that means we've got the shirt is new or the shirt, the shirt is new or the shirt is clean, or the shirt is new or clean, okay? And then for D, we got P, this symbol here stands for and, so P and Q, the shirt is new and clean, okay? Move on to the next one, number two. If R is Kelly is a good driver and S is Kelly has a good car, write down in symbolic form, Kelly is not a good driver. So if Kelly, if R is Kelly is a good driver, then we would just put not R. Okay, and then B, Kelly does not have a good car, so Kelly has a good car as S, so then that would just be not S. All right, C. We have Kelly is a good driver and has a good car. So good driver and good car. So that's going to be R. Oops, that looks like an N. R and S. Okay, moving on to the next one. Number three. Um, X, the proposition X is Sergio would like to go swimming tomorrow. And then Y is Sergio would like to go bowling tomorrow. Right down in symbolic form. So A. Sergio would not like to go swimming tomorrow, so swimming is X and bowling is Y, so that would just have to be not X. Okay, B, Sergio would like to go swimming and bowling tomorrow, so swimming is X, bowling is Y, and since it's and, we put this symbol in between. C, Sergio would like to go swimming or bowling, so swimming is X, or is this symbol here, and then bowling is Y. Right, moving on, number five, list the true sets of P, Q, and P and Q for these here. Okay, so P, um, X is odd and less than 10. Uh, Q, X is prime and less than 12. So what they're asking us to do is write what P would be and what Q would be. So let's do this, P and Q. That's not a beautiful Q, but you get the idea. So X is odd and less than 10. So uh, again, we have to assume that we're not going into the negative numbers here, Those, otherwise we'd be writing forever. So odd numbers less than 10 would be, um, sorry, one, three, five, seven, and nine. And then Q is X is prime and less than 12. So that would be one is actually considered to be a special number. So we're gonna start with two, three, five, seven, and 11. Okay, so there's our P and our Q. Uh, so there's our true set. And then P and Q is, we would just do this, P, and Q would be whatever these, since it's and, they have to be what they have in common. So they have three, five, and seven in common. Okay. Let's take a look at the next one here. Uh, number six, find the truth sets of P, Q, and P or Q for these here. So A, we've got P. P is a factor of 20. So that's one times 20, two times 10, four times five. So these should be all of our factors. One and 20, two and 10, four and five are all the factors of 20. Q is X is a factor of 21. So let's see, we've got one and 21, three and seven. So that's uh, what we have for that. And if we're doing P or Q, that's gonna be P or Q. That's gonna be 
everything together. So we'd combine both of these sets. So we'd have one, two, three, four, five, seven. Uh, next one is 10, 20, and 21 if we wrote them all in order. You wouldn't officially have to write them all in order. It just makes it a little easier to check. Okay. All right, moving along, we got number seven here for these statements. Determine if their conjunction is true or false, and then give a reason. Okay, so A, we've got X is 23 is an odd number, and then Y is Y equals 2X plus 1 is the equation of a line. So um, just try to remember that, uh, that conjunction is just the and. Okay, so basically is um, figure out if their conjunction is true or false. So basically what we're trying to figure out is X and Y, is that true or false? Okay, so 23 is an odd number. So in order for this to be true, these both have to be true, true and true. So 23 is an odd number, that's true. Um, y equals 2X plus one is the equation of the line, that is also true. So then that means the conjunction here Conjunction is true, okay? B, an emu can fly, uh, and then Y is all birds can fly. So in order to figure this out, you actually have to know if emus can fly or not, um, and apparently they cannot. So this is false and this is true, so that means that overall this has to be false. Okay, because again, they have to both be true in order for that to be true since it's and. Okay, moving on to the next one. All right, number eight here. For these statements, determine if their inclusive dis disjunction is true or false and give a reason. Okay, so um, for A, we got M is a prime number. Oh, sorry, so inclusive disjunction is just the regular or exclusive disjunction is the only is is only one of the other so inclusive disjunction uh, is true if they're both true one, or one or the other is true so um, that's all we need for that so first one really we're looking for M or N so 23 is a prime number that's true so really without even figuring out what N is we know since we have um, inclusive disjunction that this has to be true let's just double check the graph of Y equals X squared is a parabola that is also true um, so that's true there um, number nine for these statements determine if they're exclusive disjunction so that's we call that exclusive or is true or false and then give a re reason so this one for these here we've got P exclusive or Q has to be either has to be one true and one false so it can be true false or false true but it can't be both trues that's that would be um, inclusive or but this is not inclusive or it's exclusive or so 42 is a multiple of four that is false 42 is a multiple of three that is true so since we have one false and one true that would make this true for the exclusive disjunction. Right, last one, number 10. What can be deduced about X if X is greater than or equal to seven is false? So if we've got part one for A, if X is greater than or equal to seven is false, that means we can deduce that X has to be the opposite of that. So X is less than seven, okay? And then for part two on that, uh, 3 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 6, is false, then we would have to assume, again, the opposite. So then we would have to assume that x it has to be less than 3, and also x has to be greater than 6. Okay?